Hi, everybody. Great to have you with us on Nets Post Game Plus. Bob Lorenz and Frank Isola with you. Final score for Barclays Tuesday night. Nets 127, Kings 118. So a seventh straight win. And yeah, did Kyrie contribute? Yeah, did James Harden, of course, triple-double. But how about Bruce Brown in this game? Yeah, he was outstanding. A career-high 29 points for him. 13 in that fourth quarter. They needed him tonight. He seemed to play with a little bounce to his step. He was always ahead of the pack. Had a couple of plays where James Harden threw the ball to him. He got behind the defense of Sacramento. Coaches talk about it all the time. That first game back from a West Coast trip is a bit of a trap game. The Nets run at their best but they still got a good result. Well, Brown had the finishing bucket on seven of James Harden's 14 assists. And three of those Harden to Brown baskets helped the Nets score 42 points in the first quarter, one, one off their high for any quarter this season. Brown appeared surprised when he saw his final point total on the scoreboard. And before his teammates spoke to the media, or Michael Grady asked Brown if he just realized he'd scored a career-high 29 points at that moment. Yeah, I just, I just realized. <laughs> they was like, why you ain't get 30? I was like, bro, I didn't know. <laughs> well, I'm going to have you, first off, just grade your dance moves. We saw that shimmy that's got everybody talking in front of the King's bench. Grade your own dance moves. Uh, I could dance a little bit. I got some rhythm. But they was talking crazy over there saying, you know what they say when they're on the court. I can't say it because we're on TV. But, yeah, they was talking crazy, so I had, to, I had to let them know. You found a home with this Brooklyn Nets team. Describe the comfort zone that you've been able to get into with this squad. Super comfortable. I know my role. I try to stick to my role. Um, I know what teams are going to do because we have at least scores on the floor. So I just try to find cracks, get uh, offensive rebounds, and get to my floater. You guys are rolling. Even with guys out of the lineup, what's the key to maintaining this consistency moving forward? Seven wins in a row. Next man up. Play hard. Play with energy. And we can beat anybody. He does a little bit of everything. Uh, he's a guy that just goes out there and competes his butt off every single night. Um, and great things happen for him, you know, especially with the talent level that we have on this team. Um, you know, sometimes we need him to play center, catch, uh, set screens and roll to the basket. He's an you know, unbelievable cutter. And tonight, you know, he's, he showed us he's capable of knocking down the three ball. So uh, he does it all. He works his butt off. And, you know, when you work, when you work your tail off and, and just keep grinding and pushing, good things happen for you. And um, I'm so happy for him and I'm proud of him. The, the run that you guys have been on, is it a, just a natural progression? Was it the Pistons game? Was there a conversation that sparked the increased intensity? What would you say has sparked this run where you guys have just really been locked in and reeling off seven straight wins? Uh, it might have been that Piston, Pistons game. Uh, might have, I mean, it's not the one, one thing particular. It might have just been like, we're tired of losing and let's, <laughs> let's, let's start winning. You know, and, and by any means necessary, whatever it takes. And, you know, each guy's been locked in. Uh, we've, been, we've had so many, well, a few, you know, guys in and out lineups or, or whatnot, but the next man up and the next man ready to go. Um, you know, obviously Jeff TLC was out tonight, but, you know, just guys kept, came in and, and was prepared and, and played big minutes, and, you know, they stepped up. Brooklyn will try to win its eighth consecutive game Thursday in a matchup against Orlando at Barclays Center. Coverage begins on Yes at 7 o'clock for the pregame show presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. For Frank Isola, I'm Bob Lorenz. Thanks for watching Nets Post Game Plus.